Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I have a very special treat for you, a flashback to 2007. And uh, even better, I have the original receipt here showing you the sale. Uh, when I bought this, this was brand new iPod video, $249. Okay, they, I think I paid the $24 protection a thing on there too is what it's saying there. So total 292 out the door. I paid $300 in cash for this bad boy. This was the life back <laughs> again. Let's see. It has the uh, the date here too. Right there. March 20th, 2007. Okay, so I strolled into Best Buy, which, you know, it's funny as we talk about all these things in the near future, a lot of this might not even exist. Who knows? Best Buy, the way things are going right now, um, the I, you know, music itself, the way that we used to listen to it, and, uh, you know, even the receipt. <laughs> you know, who knows when we don't have paper receipts anymore. So anyway, um, I was going to show you the unboxing of this, at the time this was brand new iPod video and so uh, this was a 30 gig and so that was 7500 songs for PC and Mac okay so when you got this uh, it opened up kind of like a book it even has Jack Sparrow on the front of it from the Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, let's see Danny California from Red Hot Chili Peppers was what it was showing on the back so as you opened it up it came like a book here and uh, there it was. You opened it up. That's how you would have seen this thing uh, the first time. You would have opened it up like that, and it has an outlay on this side that's just blank, and then the actual um, iPod here. So once you pry it out, okay. Now this one, the only thing I've done is I've put a, a protective cover over it. But uh, this was your status right here if you were... Uh, you know showing off you were getting the 30 gig and this is perfect by the way it just has the cover But uh, I put a cover right over it. So it's still brand new the wear marks are from a case that's on the outside But uh, anyway, it said iPod on the back of it just like that and uh, 30 gig So the way that you'd turn these on is they had a switch here that you would flip so the red meant that it was off Okay, to save power so you weren't lighting the screen up all the time and so you would turn it that way and it would come on so um, You would hit menu. We'll go all the way to the beginning here and uh, These were the options so you to operate this you would scroll in a circle and I remember this was the coolest thing ever compared to your CD player you know that you used to carry around and so you could go through music photos videos Extras, settings, shuffle songs, and now playing. Those were kind of the main options there. So you would just click on music. You could either search or set up your playlists, all this. And you'd pretty much set it all up on, I, on uh, iTunes and then you'd sync it. And uh, then it was all on here, which was the coolest thing. You didn't have to buy CDs anymore. So you could go into songs and scroll through them individually that way. Okay. Uh, you could go back one, and uh, you had all these options, playlists, artists, albums, songs, podcasts, if you wanted to download those and put them on there, uh, composers, audiobooks, or search. The search function is hilarious because you'd have to um, start basically on this dial, and uh, if you were trying to search for something, you had to go letter by letter scrolling and then pressing the center button for enter and then when you were done you'd go over to where it says done there and you'd click on it and then that song would come up and uh this was you know a song that i had named lake it wasn't really named lake but uh just remind me of the lake so anyway um on the buttons here you have a play button and a pause the back button for the previous song forward for the next one and then menu to go back and so every time you hit menu you'd go back but uh, on here some of the uh, you could take photos and add them on there which is kind of cool um, 
it was a, a way to carry all that around because cell phones still weren't really that great. I think I had a Motorola Razor at the time, which I can show you later, is what I was carrying around in my pocket. So uh, you'd have this for music and then your phone for only cell phone and maybe a few uh, calling, you know, a few text messages was it. Uh, so uh, I'll show you one of my favorites too when you were bored. You could go into extras, you go into games, and you could play brick. Check out this game, you know, where you bounce the the ball, and you, man, I, I don't even know what level I got to on that one. I got close to beating it, but uh, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good game for what it was. Spend hours, and if you're really good, you could get the ball to go through the top and just bust them all down for you. But, uh, I also like the music quiz, that was an option, and so when you click on that, it would play like 10 seconds of a song, and you'd have to guess what the song was, and so you would scroll down. They would start to disappear through time, so you, your, your options were fewer and fewer and fewer, and then you finally pick one, and you were either wrong or you were right. But I'd actually set it on this setting and just listen to it, because it gave you 10 seconds of every song, basically and you just kind of sit there and listen to it and uh, so it was kind of a fun way to get some variety like a shuffle mode but uh, yeah solitaire look at that I don't, you know I think somebody downloaded this on there this definitely wasn't uh, I don't think this was on there when I got it somebody else uh, probably stole it and added that to it uh, put in the comments if you happen to have one of these and if you know that if solitaire was part of it I don't even know and no it's that's funny, you have all these things that uh, you would have to basically, uh, you know, sync on your computer in order to have them on here. You, you couldn't really just add it to it. Stopwatch, you know, timers. That's what it looked like. Look at that technology. Pretty good, huh? So, uh, I remember getting my wife the 80 gig for her birthday later on, you know, a few years later, and that was pretty cool because this was the 30 gig. But uh, anyway, that's uh, just a quick, I, the, uh, it's the iPod video was the name of it. And so you could just carry this around. It's kind of a brick, you know, compared to the phones. This is probably bigger and heavier than a phone that we'd have nowadays. And this was also the era where you were cooler the smaller you went. Now it's backwards and you wanna get the biggest iPad and everything that you can find or to your phone that looks like an iPad, the plus version phones. Um, but uh, anyway, just wanted to show you this. It was kind of sitting around in the closet, still works just fine. And uh, I powered it up and listened to some music. And, you know, uh, it's just interesting that there's no Wi Fi on this whatsoever. So you can't just sit there and, you know, add songs to it. You can't text over it. You can't email over it. There's no Facebook app, nothing. It was basically music and a few games and some pictures. And uh, you'd load your pictures on here. Then at work on your break, you'd say, hey, man, check this out. And you'd go into photos and you'd show your va your vacation that you just had. And everything you do on a phone now. But anyway, I thought it was kind of fun to show you what it looked like. You know, just plugged in at the bottom. And uh, the phone jack was at the top. And I know the iPhones have kind of gone back and forth with that. And now they're wireless. But uh, that's what it looked like when it was new. You know what? I should be a good person here. I'm going to turn it off. You would just hold down the button there and then slide it on over to lock it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away for a minute or two. And uh, just wanted to show you, you know, what this was and how much it cost at the time. And, you know, this was behind the black case. Yeah, definitely probably not going to be that uh, worth much uh, anymore these days. And so I jumped onto eBay real quick. Look at that. $56 is what this one's running for. And uh, it's refurbished though. And some of these other ones, $12.40. Wow, $5 shipping. That's a pretty good buy on that compared to what I had spent. Although uh, that one says it's for parts only. So I uh, don't know what would even work on that one. And uh, 50, 60 bucks looks like, you know, some people are asking for some of these, but they're refurbished again. Um, this guy's selling like 
everything that it came with that he had at the time. <laughs> but uh, that's a pretty good deal right there, too. But uh, anyway, that's uh, the relic of the day. Just wanted to show that to you. Put in the comments if you have one of these. If you had one of these, you were probably born when <laughs> this was coming out. It's just getting older and older. So I'm getting older. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks, guys.